queridos, queridos, o mejor dicho, queridísimos Dear, amigos. or rather very dear friends. Algunos de los que me precedieron. ¿no? Some of the speakers who preceded me. O fue Bob. Eh, decía que algunos se preguntaban. I said that some of them were wondering. ¿Por qué me recibían en esta Why was iglesia? it that I was being welcomed in this church? <laughs> y él contó interesantes anécdotas. And he told very interesting stories. Que me habían llevado a, a la otra iglesia. Of uh, the other, the day they took me to the other church. I should speak about that too tonight. Pero yo, pero es que no solo algunos de ustedes. But it happens that not only some of you, but I was also wondering why I was being welcomed like this. It is that I myself, while I was getting dressed. Para venir acá, to come here tonight me quité de todos los trajes. I got rid of the business suit I got rid of my business suit and then I went into this fatigues which I have been wearing for so many years. I have been wearing this till international diplomacy has forced me not very long ago to wear a guayabera. Pero descubrí But then I discovered que yo no tenía una sola that I did not have only one guayabera. Me prestaron guayabera. Then I had to borrow one. Movilizaron no sé cuánta gente. They mobilized I don't know how many tailors in order to have uh, some guayaberas cut for me. Por la noche. That was in the midnight. Yo me tenía que ir al otro día. I was supposed to leave on that trip me the next la day. Por la mañana. I tried it in the morning. Y realmente estaba tan And actually it did not amplia. fit. It was so big. Que yo en, en broma. It was so big that as a joke. Le dije a los amigos, I said to my friends. Look, me refería a una persona. I mentioned a person con la que he tenido contradicciones. With whom I have had some contradictions. Pero que al que pude a la que pude conocer. But también, somebody I was able to meet uh, later and he's not a bad person. Era presidente de un país. He was the president of a country. Latinoamericano. Of a Latin American country. Y yo le dije, oígame. And he was fat. Ustedes me han hecho la guayabera del so, gordo tal. So I said to the tailor, you have tailored that guayabera for that man and not for Corre, me. Recorta. It was broad like this. Pero me tuve que poner la guayabera. But I had to wear it nonetheless. <laughs> Después le cuento un amigo, una familia. After that I said it to a friend. Que tenía to a family una hija who happened to have a daughter who's a designer Holland, in Holland she had studied Esa in Europe that family had had relations with Cuba for a long Yo time que que no tenía I told them that I discovered that I did not have any civilian clothes me so los they offered me her services familia, that family para and then she designed some suits for me bueno, en realidad, me hicieron como, well, actually, como tres o cuatro. she prepared about three to, or four suits for me. Le aseguro, But no I assure you nada, that nada, I did nada. not know anything about suits. Ni, ni la tela. Not, nothing about the clothes. Ni la camisa. Or the uh, shirt. Ni la corbata. Or the tie. Ni los yugos. Or the couplings. You know, I did not know anything. <laughs> Unos zapatos de punta. And the shoes, very uncomfortable los, shoes. Los pies míos no estaban acostumbrados a eso. You know, I was not used to that. Tenía unas viejas botas. I had my old boots. Media <laughs> raídas ya. Somewhat old and... Uh, no por pobreza. Not because I was poor. Sino por costumbre. But because I was in the habit of, we of wearing my old boots. Tanto cariño mis botas They were que so no me comfortable, you know, that I did not want to leave them for a new pair of shoes. Quería quitar. Y entonces, por fin terminé. Finally, eh, con I ended up guayabera, dressed in a guayabera, traje, in a business suit, with a tie, camisa, with a shirt, 
yugo, with the cufflinks, zapatos, with shoes. Que no me los pongo porque I'm not wearing them no now. <laughs> I don't like them much, you know. Y por fin, bueno, y ahora soy un honorable caballero. And now I am an honorable gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> en las reuniones cumbre y a cada rato hay una reunión cumbre bueno once ya once in a while there are summit conferences and I have to dress up like an honorable gentleman in a business suit la reunión sobre desarrollo social there was another summit on uh, social development que si París and in Paris I had to pay a visit to that country to claro. France en todos los lugares me bajo con este. In every place, you know, I t I uh, leave the plane wearing cambio. my fatigues. Las visitas, and then I change for museos, those protocol todo. visits. I wear my business suits. Y entonces, bien. No sé si me he ido civilizando. I don't know if it is because I'm becoming more civilized. <laughs> Tampoco quería dar la impresión y ayudar que yo fuera a aparecer como un señor militar allí o algo de eso que yo no estudié esa carrera you know I did not study the career of looking like a gentleman in a business suit a mí no me quedó más remedio que I only had uh, to do it tener que luchar and I did not study to be a politician I had to tener que aprender I had to learn the trade bueno, along the way hicimos algunas guerras y lo interesante es que las ganamos. And the interesting thing is that we wage a battle and we won. <laughs> la nuestra era muy difícil, pero no le voy a hacer esa historia. It is very difficult, but I'm not going to tell you that old story. Pero llegamos a ser muy poquito. But there was a time in which we were only a few. A veces menos de diez. Sometimes there was a time in which we were less than ten. Sometimes we were twelve. Pero nuestros adversarios eran como But our adversaries, y al final en 25 though there were many, in 25 months, nuestra revolución venció our revolution was victorious. Lo venció de manera total. En combate, había we won in the open battles we were in the guerrilla forces una and de then with a combination irregular. of irregular war el we learned the trade of uh, guerrilla warfare Pero nos gustó a, ropa y nos but con we ella. liked Yo, those fatigues that we wore at that time me me and as no I, have, I felt so moda. comfortable in those fatigues I kept wearing them all bueno, these years well, anyway I was telling no, you the story. No. <laughs> no, no. I went to the hotel, not to the hotel, excuse no, la me. De la I went to the Cuban no, mission no, 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 no. to wear this uh, fatigue, to go back into my fatigues because I had been wearing the business suit before. Yo decía, because I said to myself, si la otra vez fui con esta ropa, if the last time I went to Harlem I was wearing my fatigues ¿Cómo me voy a aparecer en Harlem how come I'm going to go to Harlem vestido dressed de in a business suit <laughs> pensaba en estas cosas pero de repente se me ocurrió pensar lo I was thinking que about this, but after that I started thinking what I said before. ¿Qué hago yo en Harlem? What am I going to do in Harlem? Esta noche. What am I going to do there tonight? ¿Qué hago? What shall I do? ¿Qué digo? What shall I say? Porque yo, bueno, en las Naciones Unidas Because puedo decir algunas cosas. I can say a few things at the United Nations. Pero aquí no tenemos inmunidad para But here we don't have immunity to go into certain subjects. There I have to be careful. Pero tengo que ser. But here I have to be cautious Nadie too. Vaya a Nobody should believe me me that I'm uh, interfering in internal affairs of this country.
Y yo le juro que no me voy a mezclar en nada que no sea justo. I swear that I'm not going to get mixed up in anything that is not public. Pero, pero algunas cosas abstractas, genéricas, medio Only some medio abstract, some genetic things, some philosophy. Pero, ¿qué digo? I said, what shall I say to them? ¿De qué hablo? What shall I speak about? Entonces me recordé que sí que Then I remembered that yes, I had things to tell you. I had things to talk to you about. Sin violar ninguna ley. Without breaking any law. <laughs> Sin caer en una corte jurisdiccional. Without having to be taken to a court. Aunque espero que en ese caso ustedes me vayan a visitar. So I hope that in that case you will go to visit me. Pero es que recortaba tanto aquellos días. I was really recalling tanto, those days. Y con tanta gratitud. You know, gratitud. those days were coming back to my memory. Y yo decía, tengo que venir. I remember with such appreciation those days in which I was here in this neighborhood. Tengo que venir a saludar I a said to myself, hermanos. I have to go there and say hello to those Pero people. Harlem, because it was in Harlem junto con ellos, a los hermanos, where I have to go and visit there and together with them, the Latin American, de Puerto Rico, the Puerto Rican brothers and sisters. Y algunos hablaron. And some have, have been spoken here. Había eventos, había cosas. Ayer, ayer creo que había una, una I comida. think that yesterday there was a dinner. Yo creo que el alcalde dijo que yo yes, era un demonio. Yes, but I think the mayor said that I was a demon. No se le podía invitar a and that a demon comida. could not be invited to dinner. Voy a pasar hambre el primer I said, I'll go hungry the first day on New York. Después me dijeron que había un concierto. After that, I was told that there would be a concert. Pero que invitaban a las Naciones Unidas. That the United Nations was extending the invitations. Pero la orquesta era de la alcaldía. But the orchestra was under the mayor. La alcaldía dijo... And the mayor seemed to have said, de manera, no way, podía tocar una the orchestra cannot play if the demon is in the hall. Sí. Lo insólito. It's really incredible. <laughs> una, una familia amistosa. It's outrageous because here there is a friendly family. Rica. A wealthy family and a group of uh, businessmen me invited me last night for dinner. Al they invited the demon. Paradojas. It's a paradoxic. Y and we should be happy. Son más. Because there are many more. The people who understand that the blockade absurdas. and all those things are obsolete, son cosas locas. that those are crazy things. Y muchos hombres de empresa and many businessmen se oponen hoy al are today bloqueo. opposed to the blockade. Y luchan contra el and they are striving against the blockade in their own way. Ahora bien, yo no estoy aquí now, I am not here no me hayan a una because they did not invite me to dinner tonight. <laughs> ayer, ayer. Or yesterday. Ni estoy aquí Nor am I here no me because I had not been invited hoy. to dinner tonight. No, hoy hay today there is a dinner. Y yo estoy excluido. I have been excluded. No por ser demonio. Not ya because no I am a demon. Tan mal como I have not demonio. been so ill treated tonight. Pero bueno. Eh, no sé. I don't know. Si, si perjudico. 
If it is because I heard a political activity, if I am present, I don't know. But if I had been invited to the mayorship, I would have had to attend out of mere courtesy. If I had been invited to the Philharmonic Orchestra, to the concert, I would have had to attend for reasons of elementor, elementary courtesy and even out of patience. Not because it was going to be boring for me, that concert. Eso de estar rodeado But de jefes me, de Estado todo el tiempo, being surrounded of heads of state all the time, is sometimes unbearable. <laughs> pero, pero sí les puedo asegurar I can assure you, though, que yo habría asistido a that I would have attended a la que me habían invitado amablemente to which los empresarios. Uh, I was invited by the uh, businessmen. No jamás al con But I would have never failed to come to this meeting with you. Lo que hice Because the first thing I did se habló del programa, when the program was brought up with me was to say that I wanted to visit the Teresa Hotel and that I wanted to have an encounter with you here in Harlem. Pero nadie podrá decir que yo inventé una reunión. But nobody noche, will be able to say that I invented a meeting tonight just not to attend. Pero en otros lo meeting. inventaron comida y cosas. Others have invented dinners and things. Y me excluyeron. And they have left me out. Y entonces yo tuve más tiempo. I had more time then. Tuve más tiempo, pude cumplir más. So I had more time free to be able deseo. to come and discharge my duty and my decision to come and see you tonight. Pero aquella vez. But that day, I mean, those were unforgettable days for me, the days when I came to the Teresa Hotel many years ago. There was such hostility. There was such a campaign against our country that I, I passed by one area and they did like this. I did not know what they meant by that, but I could imagine that it was something Something was wrong. Pero todo cambiaba cuando llegaba a Harlem. But everything changed when I came to Harlem. Todo el mundo. In Harlem you did this. Hoy hay algunos cambios, excepto algunos compatriotas nuestros que Today todavía no se han acabado de with convertir the a la causa de la soberanía nacional. Algunos, of the cause of sovereignty algunos and independence, only a few. van siendo menos, Actually, they are less and less. gastaron dinero, gastaron de todo, they spent pagaron money, y buscaron no sé cuántos recursos. And they, uh, found resources. A journalist was telling me this evening, do you know that there have been 57 protests against you? I said, I'm a lucky man, I have not seen any. I don't know where she get the data, but I said, I have seen thousands of people saying hello. I have seen many people waving hands at me. I've, I've seen changes in the way people look at us. Remember that in those days when I came here first, uh, those were the days of the Cold War. 
con la revolución recién nacida. The revolution was practically a newborn. Eso fue en el año 60. That was in the year 1960. Y entonces me hicieron la vida imposible. And then they made life very difficult for me in that hotel where I was staying. Yo tenía un poco de mentalidad guerrillera. I still had somewhat the mentality of uh, guerrilla. Me voy para el patio so I said, de I'm going Unidas. to set up a tent in the patio of the UN. En una casa de campaña. I'm going to set up my tent there. And then it was said that we had the contact with the Teresa Hotel. Hay una cosa mucha más estratégica. I said there, there is something more strategic than that. Irme a parar allí en el Hotel Teresa. I'm going to stay at Teresa Hotel. I knew that here I would have the heart of the neighbors of uh, Harlem. Era evidente la injusticia, era evidente la discriminación. Injustice was obvious, discrimination was obvious to me. Y como revolucionario, and as a revolutionary, I knew that I would be welcome in this neighborhood. Es lo que dijo Lincoln, se puede engañar. I heard, I remember what Lincoln said. Gente, you can deceive a toda la gente una parte del tiempo, all the people part of the time. A una parte part of the tiempo. people part of the time. No se puede a todo el mundo but not todo all the people all the time Pero ustedes fueron la parte de la gente but you were the part of the people a quienes nunca pudieron who engañar. were never deceived Aquí con todo Rosa Mari, las personalidades que vinieron a Rosemary Teresa. here said all the personalities that came to visit me at Teresa Hotel. Líderes internacionales. International leaders. Que en muestra de solidaridad vinieron. Who in solidarity with me. Vino Khrushchev. Even Khrushchev came. Sí, Khrushchev fue uno de los yes, primeros. Yes, Khrushchev was one of the first leaders who came to Era visit el me. el jefe de una superpotencia. And he was the leader of a superpower. Le agradezco, le reconozco. I appreciated that gesture that he had. Khrushchev was a peasant. Astuto. He was a very shrewd peasant. Simpático. Very funny guy. Y subió las y no desbarató aquella And cosa he did not dismantle his country, by the way. He became a leader, but after that, many of the leaders came Nero, to visit Nero, figura, one of the great leaders, historical, historical leaders, one of the great politicians, y vino Nasser, and Nasser, vino Nekruma, and Krumah, uno de los más prestigiosos. Many, many great leaders came to visit me at the Teresa Hotel. Grosera maniobra de hostilidad. They rejected that gross maneuver no of hostility against our country. No, it, it did not pay off for anyone. Actually, it offered me an unforgettable memory and a reason for eterna feeling eternal gratitude hacia el pueblo norteamericano for the American people porque veía en because I could see in you de las the best representative de las of the virtues of the American people. Se creó una historia. ¿Y saben cuánto tiempo hace de eso? And you know how long ago that was? 35 años. 33, 35 years ago. Así que se cumple el 35 so aniversario. So this is the 35th anniversary de mi visita. Of my visit. My first visit Lo to this neighborhood. Now the incredible thing is que todavía me expulsen. that I'm still expelled <laughs> de las comidas, I'm de still las being left out of the dinners cosas. and the receptions and the banquets Como si no hubiera cambiado nada as if nothing had años. changed all these years.
Como si todavía estuviéramos en la Guerra Fría. As if we were still in the days of the Cold War. Frío hacia acá adentro. It's cold inside. <laughs> It, but it's not a Cold War. No. Calor humano. There is human warmth, but the weather is uh, somewhat cold. It seems to be that the, that the church does not have funds for the uh, heat. It's really incredible that history is repeating itself that way. Now, I would have to ask myself another question. Why is it that you're receiving us here with such great respect. And there must be a reason for that. Because if others have not changed in their hostile positions, we have not changed either. Otros cambiarán. Others might change. Porque no tienen la razón. Because they do not have the reason. Y nosotros no cambiaremos. They are not right, but we will never change. Porque tenemos. Because la razón. we are right. Y la mejor prueba. And the best evidence. La mejor prueba. The best evidence son are, is your presence here y el calor y el, y and el the warmth and the love with which you have received me here tonight. En el día de hoy. Y pienso que nuestro pueblo and I think that our people ha cumplido su deberes has discharged morales, its moral duties. Ha cumplido con su it has discharged its... Uh, it, it has observed its ideals, its principles, con la solidaridad. and we have been in solidarity. La compañera Rosa Mary hablaba. Comrade Rosemary here sobre de los spoke de solidaridad about some of the efforts of international solidarity that Cuba has made. Hablo de médicos. She spoke about our doctors, Más de 15, over 15,000 Cuban doctors have uh, worked as internationalist missionaries in other countries. Millones y decenas de millones de millions personas and tens of millions of people have been taken care of by our doctors, in Africa, in Africa mainly. In, America, Latin. in Latin America also, and in other parts of the world. Cientos de miles de Hundreds of thousands of lives Se han have been por saved de sus by our doctor's work. Miles y miles thousands and thousands de y of han Cuban enseñado. teachers and professors Tecnicos en have trained technicians. Áreas. Also, our technicians in many fields have gone to other countries to Cuba work. Cuba was left with only 3,000 doctors out of the 6,000 it had in 1959. 3,000 left. They were incited by best salaries here in the United States. However, nowadays we have 60,000. And if one day the Americans were to need doctors, I can tell you that we can give you. We have many good doctors. We know that you have them, but if in any neighborhood you don't have a doctor, our doctors would come to work here.
para citar, para citar otro caso de solidaridad. Just to mention another case in which solidarity was present. Los nicaragüenses necesitaron médicos. The Nicaraguans needed doctors. Ustedes saben que en aquella época de, de otras partes no le mandaron médicos. You know that at that time doctors were not sent from other parts of the world. Others sent cannons, machine guns, bombers, and ammunitions of all kinds. Y mientras de otras partes enviaban so while others hombres were sent in que conducían a la tragedia, a la muerte. We're sending people to carry maestros, tragedy and death. 2,000 Cuban teachers en su went there, most of them women. Se fueron a enseñar a Nicaragua. They went to Nicaragua to teach Pero no the Nicaraguans how to read and write. But they did not go to Managua, not to the montaña, capital. They went to the mountains. A la selva. They went to the places where there were no teachers. A los lugares más apartados. They went to the most remote places. Y cuando pedimos voluntario para and when we Nicaragua, asked for teachers to volunteer in Cuba to go to Nicaragua, 30,000 volunteered. 30, Look, Brother Bot, what a sentiment of solidarity our people has. So that has been growing in our people. And when some counter-revolutionaries, some gangs in Nicaragua, some countries killed some Cuban teachers, a hundred thousand Cuban teachers volunteered to take their places. Esos fueron los valores morales que se fueron creando. Those have been the moral values that we have been creating with the changes in our country. Y voy a citar otro ejemplo. And I'm going to mention another example. Cuando hubo un gran terremoto. When there was a big Perú, earthquake in Peru. Que mató cien Which killed a hundred thousand people. Which killed seventy thousand people. Pedimos donaciones de sangre. We asked for blood donations from our people. And in 10 days, we, were a, we received from our people 100,000 blood donations to give them to Peru. When there was an earthquake in Armenia, Fifty thousand blood donations were given by our people for them. When there was an earthquake in Iran and thousands of people died, we also collected thousands of donations. And wherever there has been a tragedy, a hurricane, an earthquake, our technicians, our doctors, our people have made their contribution to help, regardless of ideologies, regardless of whether those countries had diplomatic relations with us or not. That is the country which is under a blockade. That is the country that has been accused of violations of human rights. The country that has raised life expectancy to almost 76. Y que al reducir la mortalidad infantil and that has reduced infant mortality rate por cada mil from 60 per 1,000 life birth a menos de to diez, less than 10 ha salvado la vida. Ha salvado la vida cientos de and in niños. doing so it has saved the lives of hundreds of thousands of children. De niños. 
¿Y a cuántas personas les ha prolongado la vida? And how many people are, are living a longer dolor. life? How much pain ha has been relieved? Dolor, eh, how much physical pain has been relieved? El mismo modo que en los the same way illiteracy was eradicated in the first years of the revolution. Y que tiene hoy el más alto per And today capita. we have the highest per capita. El más alto per capita. The highest number of teachers and professors per capita. And that among all the countries Igual of the world. El más alto per capita de médicos. The same way we have the highest percentage of doctors per capita in the world. That is the country which is being accused of violating human rights. A country that has pursued a steady line of absolute and total respect for the physical integrity of its citizens. And the best evidence were the 3,000 prisoners we got in the Bay of Pigs. Not only one of them can say that he was uh, ill-treated. Not one of them was killed. Not one of them was murdered even after they, when they were captured after battle. Not one of them was hurt. Volvieron como héroes. They came back as heroes. Y algunos incluso cambiaron. And some pues, even changed after that. Pero nadie pudo decir que salieron. But no one could ever say that they were hit by one of our soldiers. Honor, that is our gloria. honor. That is our glory. That is our history. No matter the slander. That is the truth. He hablado que hemos donado nuestra sangre. I have said that we have given our blood donations para salvar vidas. to save lives in other countries. De médicos, de we have talked about teachers, about Pero doctors, but we have done something more than that. Hemos derramado la sangre we have shed our blood. Patriota. We have shed our para blood para luchar to fight el against colonialism and to defend the independence. Pueblo. feel that we have discharged our duty to humanity, that is the 15 years that we fought against South Africa, against apartheid. For 15 years we were there fighting apartheid, Hasta el final. fighting racism till the very end. ¿Qué hacían con nosotros? Nos decían que nos bloqueaban. What were they doing with us? They said that we had to be imposed a blockade. Porque estábamos cumpliendo esa misión de ayuda allí. And they were doing that, they said, because we were giving assistance to that country. Luchando contra los Because we were fighting the South African uh, races. Pero esa es una historia muy interesante. But that is a very interesting story, you know. Cual un día deberá, deberá Something that will one day escribir. have to be written. 
uno de los más horribles one of the most sistemas de discrim discriminación awful systems of discrimination era el que se and racism allí. was the one that existed there en aquel país. in that country in South Africa de años de tens fin of del fascismo, uh, years after the end of fascism and Nazism Sin embargo, that situation existed there Hoy no se habla mucho. However, not much is talked today about that, you know. Bien la We know that history very well. We know it very well. A Sudáfrica no la South Africa was not blockaded. No le impedían comprar alimentos y South medicinas. Africa was not prevented from purchasing food and medicines. Y al país que luchaba heroicamente. And the country that was heroically fighting against the racists. No le vendían una medicina. Was not sold one medicine. Una aspirina. One aspirin. Un citostat. One citostat. For a cancer patient, that was the punishment. Hoy todo el mundo es feliz. Today everybody is happy. Porque se acabó el apartheid. Because the apartheid is uh, finished. Hoy todo el mundo es feliz. Today everybody is happy. Porque se produce la independencia de Namibia. Because the independence of Namibia was attained. Y dura fue la lucha. But there was a tough struggle. De Namibiano. By Namibians, Angolans, Angolans and, and Cubans. They had to fight very hard. Para que ustedes tengan una idea, nuestras tropas For you to have an idea, estaban cerca de las fronteras. Our troops were close to the South African border. Un país a powerful country, a very wealthy country, South Africa. And we were over 10,000 kilometers away, I mean Cuba. We were still keeping up that fight 10,000 kilometers away from our territory. Of course, that was not an easy task. Every time the Angolans started an offensive, the South Africans came over and brought them back. And we said to the Soviets, who were the advisors uh, to the Angolan headquarters, that those offensives were wrong. They couldn't do that. If they were not able to prevent the South Africans from attacking them, it was useless to conduct those offensives. Eso no se entendía. But they did not pay attention. They did not understand that. Till there was a moment when a very serious crisis was created. A moment realmente. when the war was practically lost. Y nosotros, And then Cubanos, we, the Cubans, que we had to solve the problem. Enviaron. <laughs> enviamos muchas de nuestras mejores unidades. We sent many of our best Pilotos. divisions pilots, planes, and we said to them, we are going to prevent the South Africans from acting. When we arrived there, there was a great crisis. It was when the Cuito Juanavale battle took place. ¿Sabe cuántos hombres envió Cuba a Angola en ese momento? You know how many troops Cuba sent to Angola at that moment? 55,000 troops. 55, and, and all of them on voluntary basis. That's the most important thing of all. En Cuito Guanavale se estrellaron los racistas. And in Cuito Guanavale the, the racists could not win. La batalla al este. They wanted to have the battle to the east in a difficult place. But there we lay a trap for them. We lay a trap against which they clashed. Because there Cuido Guanavale became a symbol. We sent the necessary forces to stop the South Africans' advancement and to force them to uh, defeat. 
40, soldados While we move 40,000 Cuban troops 20, and 20,000 Angolan troops hacia el to the southwest para to threaten them on the other side al to stop the South African army from trying Nos something different. So we were able to create the necessary balance of power para la simply to stop them and to attain la victory. De la 435 so the final, implementation of resolution 435 and at the end to put an end to apartheid. That was our contribution to the heroic struggle of the South African people. De eso no se habla allí en Naciones Unidas. You know, at the United Nations, at the United Nations, they don't speak about that. Escuché un gran número de discursos. We have heard a great number of speeches. Se hablaba y se aplaudía la independencia. People spoke about the independence. They applauded the independence of the African countries. Parecía obra y milagro. It would seem that that was the work and miracle of the United Nations. Se hablaba del fin. Se hablaba del fin de la apartheid. There were talks about the, the end of apartheid. Obra y milagro like the work and miracle of the United Nations. De las Naciones Unidas. No se mencionó un solo cubano de los que murieron. There was no mention about one Cuban no se of the many Cubans who died there. el nombre de Cuba. The name of Cuba was not even mentioned. Vean como a veces so look how sometimes se pretende escribir la historia. People intend to write history Pero... forgetting reality. Pero qué es lo más extraordinario? But what is it the most extraordinary about this? Es que Sudáfrica se había convertido en potencia nuclear. It is that South Africa had become en una potencia nuclear. a nuclear power by then. Y nosotros lo sabíamos. And we knew it. Incluso la dislocación de nuestras We tropas. We even deployed our forces in such a way estaba, se realizaba tomando en cuenta que Sudáfrica that we were taking into account that South Africa tenía had armas nucleares. nuclear warheads. La cuestión era ver si se decidían a lanzarla o no. The right of the matter was whether Porque they would decide to drop it or not. Who were they going to use the, the weapon against? Y después, ¿dónde? Against us? De la propia and where? Sudáfrica. Inside South Africa? No se podía sostener el apartheid apartheid could not nuclear. sustain even if they had the nuclear Pero weapon. Por ahí se acaba de publicar un libro que But a book has just been published donde se habla de que where they say that in ya. South Africa at that time, nuclear. they had tens of nuclear weapons at that time. Nuclear. They even had nuclear, nuclear grenades. Nuclear. They had a respectable amount of nuclear warheads. Ya en detalle, en de it has been described in detail in that book, in research made by American journalists Sudafricano. and South African journalists, that that was the situation at that time. Some did anyone protest? ¿Acaso se ignoraba que Sudáfrica tenía armas nucleares? Was perhaps ignored that South Africa had the nuclear weapons at that time? ¿Pero por qué no se dijo una sola palabra? Why was it that nobody said a word about that? ¿Por qué no hubo una denuncia? Why was it that there was not a denunciation ah. about South Africa having a nuclear weapon? Porque allí estaban los cubanos. Why? Because the Cubans were fighting there. Luchando the contra Cubans los were the ones fighting the South Africans there, y al parecer, the South African racists. No le and apparently, some did not care si whether the South Africans used the nuclear bombs against the Cuban and Angolan esa troops verdad, es el, there. Es una historia that que is the historical truth. That history is still to be written. More research should be made about that. Because according to the theory of these journalists and researchers, fascists, Fascist groups and racist groups in South Africa han conservado have been able to keep some formas. of those weapons that they have and they have them under their control right yeah. now. Pero así se la so that is history, you see. Así se las that is the way international relations work. 
determinadas personas, determinados países. That is the way certain people and certain countries look at history. Pueden fabricar armas nucleares. Certain allies can manufacture as many nuclear weapons as they want. Nobody cares. Si otro país. If any other country, como fue el caso de Corea, as it was the case of Korea, sin que todavía se supiera con qué. People say that they wanted to manufacture a nuclear bomb. Nobody knows with which resources they el were going to do it. Anyway, a great scandal was made. Pero la de But la South Africa, del the racist South Africa, the South Africa of apartheid could have as many, as many nuclear weapons nuclear as it wanted. It was allowed to have access to the nuclear energy. De todas las armas que it was allowed to have as many nuclear weapons convenient. as it wanted. Por eso, al hablar de la historia That's de why, años when de talking about the history of these years of revolution, I think that one of the most dangerous and risky pages written by the Cubans was the one written in that struggle against the racism and apartheid in South Africa. And the Namibians and the, and the Angolans fought Solo Cuba. And outside from those two countries, only Cuba en el mundo. was involved. Su only Cuba shed its generous blood against apartheid and against racism. Hay países donde desaparecieron más de 20.000 personas. Desaparecidas. There are countries where more than 20.000 people are missing. Centroamérica, There is a country Guatemala, in Central America, Guatemala, donde desaparecieron a más de 100.000. Where over 100,000 people are missing. Desde la invasión mercenaria And contra that Argentina. comes from the days of the invasion against no quiero mencionar otros muchos países. a democratic government there. And I do not want to mention other countries, but thousands of people have disappeared in, no in Latin America. Jamás en Cuba. That has never happened Pero in Cuba. Uno de esos países fue bloqueado. <laughs> Cuba sí fue bloqueado. None of those countries has been blockaded. However, Cuba is still under the blockade. Es la realidad. And that is the reality. That is historical reality. And we are against every blockade. Anyway, blockades go against the people, against men, women, and children, against the youth and the old. It kills those people. It makes them starve. But no blockade has been as tough and as rigorous as the blockade against Cuba. I think it is not fair to use blockade as a weapon against any country. It is not logical. Because those are weapons against the people, against ordinary people. No tienen por qué usarse, se quieren prohibir las pruebas nucleares. There is no reason. People want to have a, a ban on nuclear tests. Yes, we agree. All the nuclear weapons should be removed. Pero qué es un bloqueo. But what is the blockade? As we were saying today at the United Nations, if not like an, a, a noiseless atom bomb, which kills people, which kills the people, which kills the children, which kills, there is no justification for a blockade. If I have overextended in my speech, it is not because uh, I had the idea. I have spoken this long because I wanted to meditate with you. I wanted to think with you about some of these matters. La idea with which I justify the idea that we have always been loyal, a faithful to our principles, and gesto, that you, with your gesture of receiving us here tonight, recognize our loyalty to our principles. Aquí en 
Harlem. Here in Harlem, I met Malcolm X. I met Malcolm X. I met Malcolm X. Eran días difíciles. Those were difficult days. Siempre son difíciles. Well, we always are in difficult days. Los días. Pero por delante estaba una lucha muy grande. But we had ahead a very hard struggle. La grande batalla de Martin Luther King. The great battles of Martin Luther King were civiles. still to take place. His struggle for the civil rights. La grande lucha de the Latino great struggles. Negra. By the uh, Hispanica. The black. The Hispanics. The Latin Americans. Por to improve their living conditions, la lucha de los the struggle by the enfermos. elders, by the sick. Sé perfectamente I know very well que muchas de esas conquistas that many of those conquests hoy están are in danger today. Sé que hay algunas personas I know, <coughs> algunas personas I know that some people would like to sweep away all those conquests. Some people would like to do away with all those conquests, to do away with every assistance to the sick, to the elder. They would like to do away with the affirmative actions. They would like to sweep away all the great achievements that the American people, the ordinary humble people of America have attained in all these years. Well, I just make a brief reference to this and I hope nobody would contest me for that. Alrededor de mil horas About 1,000 hours of broadcasting from the United States are aimed at Cuba horas every week. 1,000 hours of radio broadcasting aimed against Cuba every week. Promoting subversion, inciting to sabotage against the economy, Atentado. attempts against our leaders' lives. This modest person that you see here has the privilege and I think that the church must have something to do with that. Of having survived hundreds of attempts against my life. I think that your prayings have been saving me. Algo tiene que haber. There must be something. Puesto que bueno. Since. ¿Cómo habrá sido posible? How could it be possible? Y todavía esos planes. And those plans. Se elaboran. Are still being hatched today. No estoy culpando al gobierno. I'm not blaming the U.S. administration. Pero hay grupos de extrema derecha. But there are extreme right-wing groups, extreme racist groups that continue to work to work feverishly to carry forward attempts against the economy of our country and to murder the leaders of our country. That's still going on. That has not changed. I was moved by the memory when Mr. Uh, Bodsworth was talking, he was reminded us of the day when we went to the church in Havana. I remember that that day I felt like a brother in that church because I, uh, I made not a speech but a kind of a sermon. I delivered a sermon. Y él se recordaba de más datos. And he was also reminding us of other data sobre mis creencias. When I was asked about my beliefs y lo que yo le había respondido. And what I had answered then. Con toda honestidad. I answered in all honesty es que yo no tuve la suerte de tener that I was not lucky enough tan buenos pastores. to have such good pastors. <laughs> <laughs>
que en vez de decirme cree, me dijeran piensa. Instead of telling me believe, they should have told me Medi think, meditate. Y llevaran a mi alma las convicciones. That way they would have take to my, taken to my soul the no convictions that I did not have the privilege de recibir. of receiving. Me convertí mm. en sacerdote de So I became a priest in a different cause, a no cause that I believe though ninguna contradicción a cause that has no contradiction a, a cause that has no contradiction with your religious belief and the beliefs of God God was the idea of good of doing good to the human beings y cuando él hablaba And while he was talking, yo pensaba, todo estos problemas and I was humanos, thinking about all these human problems I have been discussing here tonight, all the sufferings of humanity, no en, and I do not want to go sí. through the long list of uh, calamities, where 4.5 billion human beings are suffering in the world. Los miles de, de millones de ignorantes what billions of illiterate, starving people, people who are living under the poverty line, are going through without education, without medical care. When I see so much suffering, I remember while Brother Bots was talking of the story or the legend of a Cuban uh, native aborigin, Atue was his name, que, con ese espíritu de conquistador, con que llegaron, the Spaniards los españoles, arrived in our countries with that spirit of conquerors. They arrived with that spirit in Latin America. Con la cruz y con la espada. They came with the cross and the sword. La cruz no se puede you should understand that the cross cannot be introduced with a sword. Pero, <laughs> el indio Atuay se sublevó contra that aborigin Atuay uprised against the conquerors y lo condenaron a morir and en la he hoguera. was sentenced to die in the fire. Donde estaba en la hoguera, and while he was uh, le dije, While he was there in the pyre, he was told that there was heaven and that he should be baptized to be able to go to heaven. Entonces, and then he asked preguntó, si los if the Spaniards cielo, go to that heaven, I do not want to go there. <laughs> Y él no dijo si creía o no creía. Dice, bueno, entonces. He was not asked whether he believed or not. Yo no quiero he ir said, al cielo. If they go to heaven, then I do not want to go there. Del mismo modo en este mundo muchos. And nowadays in this world. Que nos hablan del cielo. There are many who speak to us about heaven. En este mundo. In this world. Tan llenos de abuso. Right here in this world so full of abuses. Y tan lleno de injusticia. So full of injustices. Y en ese sentido, And in that sense, yo podría decir, I could say, a ese cielo that heaven que ustedes practican en este mundo, that you practice in this world, nosotros we do no not want to go ir. there. We do not believe in that nosotros. heaven. Sí. Nosotros queremos ir a un cielo de justicia. We want to go to a heaven where there is justice. dignidad humana. Where there is human dignity. Nosotros queremos ir a un We cielo. We want to go to a heaven. De hermandad. Where there is brotherhood. Y por ese, en ese cielo. And in that heaven. Creo. I believe. Y por ese cielo. And for that heaven. Mi vida. I'm willing to give up my life. Muchas gracias. Thank you.